Hi everyone, this is AFC RDTV and welcome to highlights of AFC Russian and Diamonds against Northampton Salby Rangers from the Chroma Sporting Trophies UCL Premier Division on Saturday afternoon. Straight into the action for this one then and a run from Elliot Lamb Johnson just eight minutes in against fullback Emmanuel Bella. Drew the foul and the inevitable penalty. Thomas have had a couple of penalty takers this season but this time it was Jason Turner to confidently give Diamonds the lead. And in the game of chance at both ends, it was turned with the next opportunity, this time being thwarted by away keeper David Allen. But that only started an attack for the away side. Ex-Diamond Elliot Dent controlling the ball. He set up striker Hussein Mohamed, and while Matt Finley did well to get anything onto in the first place, Dominic Okanu was there to bundle across the ball for the equaliser. However, this just galvanised Diamonds and a wonderful right-wing cross from Lam Johnson straight onto the head of Tom Lorraine to regain Diamonds' lead in the 23rd minute. And just two minutes later, this time it was Adam Confew with the ball in from the right. Salby defends when walkabout and it was Jason Turner on hand to poke home past Allen to give Diamonds a 3-1 lead. And still the opportunities would come. There, Allen backpedalling furiously to keep out a Confu cross. And not too long later, Turner was provider. Basil Correa's head was nicely saved by Allen, but he then subsequently set up Lam Johnson, who thrashed in the fourth. And that just 33 minutes gone. And then not too long after that, it would be Faisal Correa's turn to score. 39 minutes gone when again a free kick was not cleared by the away defence. And then it was Jason Turner to complete a fabulous first half hat-trick in the 41st minute. A nice ball forward. Again the defence was nowhere. And he made a difficult finish look quite easy past Allen. That to make it 6-1. So a breathless first half chance at both ends and some pretty poor defending. Half-time AFC Russian and Diamond 6. Sometimes the Selby Rangers won. It was important that Selby came back to it fairly quickly, but it was Diamonds with most of the running in the second period too. There, Tom Moraine with a shot that went wide. And that before Adam Confu smashed in a half volley from the edge of the area to give Diamonds a seventh goal. There were a couple of opportunities for Salby in the second period. Although there, Matt Finley did well to beat Will Muzambiri. And then second half substitute, Russ Dunkley possibly should have done better with a the cross there. Matt Gearing was active after he replaced Lamb Johnson in the second period, although that shot was saved nicely by Allen. And here, Dominic Okanu again. Managing to dodge into the area, although Finley was equal to it. Eventually it would be Liam Dolman up from centre-half with the most spectacular goal of the game, thrashing the ball in from outside the area for an 8-1 lead that in the 79th minute. And there was still just a little bit of time. Confu could and perhaps should have made it 9. But that's the way it ended. FC Russian and Diamonds 8 the Thunder Sabi Rangers won, and this emphatic victory keeps Diamonds in sixth position in the UCL Premier Division. And still very much in touch with the teams ahead of them. Now, where we are is surprisingly sunny. Where I'm joined by AFC Rushton and Diamonds man of the match, Adam Confu, following the emphatic 8 1 victory over Northampton Sabi Rangers. Adam, what do you think was your main contribution today? Well, just we just got we we played well today. We we got the ball down, you know. We played about and we we took our chances, which we've been struggling to do most games, you know, two ones and that. But today we took our chances, and it was about time we started taking our chances and that. So, and uh, you managed to bit get one in off your shin. Yeah, well, all the lads call me Yaya in there, so you know it's good to get goals like that. And yeah, that's it, Yaya. I'll take that all day long. Take the yeah, yeah, shot, wouldn't they? It's a bit of a cracker, was not it? Yeah, I caught it well. It's the same as Peter, really. I just got on the end of it, caught it well, and it flew in. Keeper should, keeper shouldn't really go for them, like. 
And uh, it was a day of other of worldies. Tom Lorraine's headed goal came from a great ball from uh, Elliot. That was technically superb. Yeah, quality finish. Yeah. Um, we pull his nicker side in it. I would have said great strike. But yeah, it's good to see a lot of us on the score sheet today and some great finishes out there today. Yeah. Yeah, it was uh, with uh, Liam's, yeah, all the crowd urging him to shoot, yeah. and he certainly obliged. Oh, he caught it well, and it did. He just, yeah, got in there. Uh, great finish. I don't think he'll ever score one like that again, though, to be fair. He's never scored one like him before. No, nah, never. Never. Uh, and we're off to a good start. Jason Turner showing how penalties should be taken. Um, what was your view of the foul? Um, well, yeah, it was, it was a foul, yeah. He caught him. I don't... Stupid tackle to make, really, because I think he was running out of out of play. But he, yeah, he's, he's took him out. It's a penalty, and turns does what he does best, puts it in the back of the net. That's all he can ask for. Turns. That's what he's here to do: score goals. And he's, I think, it's like his second hat trick on the second week going, isn't it? His third hat trick at the club already, I would say. And, uh, on this day, could have been any one of half a dozen of you standing up here, really. Yeah, I don't know. How old, to be fair. I think I've finished off a few of the lads. Um, Brad, Brad Harris had a great game. Um, everybody, yes, yeah. Elliot, quality. A few of us had a great game today. So, I, yeah, I don't know how I finished this, but I'll take it. And you were involved in a couple of the goals before you scored, which probably did it for you. Yeah, yeah. Well, obviously, that's what's, that's what's done it, eh? Can you say? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, 7-1 and an 8-1 uh, within four days. Uh, you looking forward to next Saturday? Yeah, that's it. Now we're getting the goals now and we're starting to take our chances. It's enjoyable and it's good. The fans come here and they want to see us score goals. And when, when you're scoring seven goals in one game and eight goals, it's good to see and it gives the fans something to watch, you know. So we'll be hoping for the same for all you, if selected. Yeah, hopefully. That's it. OK, well, thanks very much for coming out, Adam, and uh, see you soon. Cheers. Thanks Cheers. a lot. Cheers. Thanks, mate. Now I'm with a very pleased manager, Andy Peaks. Andy, thoughts on the game? Yeah, really pleased. Uh, nice to give a team a real thrashing, really, to be honest, yeah. And a uh, good start and goals continue to flow throughout the first half. Yeah, we were ruthless, weren't we, today? Clinical, if you like, which was, you know, we've been saying that for a long time. We must take our chances and put teams to bed, and they've done exactly that today. And uh, would you say the Tuesday's result, where we also um, troubled the scorers on a lot of occasions, was uh, a part of the build-up to this? Possibly. We got into good habits, didn't we, the other night at Burton? So we've took them into today. Although players were different, it's a squad, isn't it? So they've all got the same mentality. And yeah, probably took it in today's game and took a chance again today. And we saw a lot more attacking formation, two wingers especially. Uh, almost made it a 4 2 4 at some stage. Well, it's a 4 2 4 when you've got the ball and you dominate midfield, which I thought Congy and Brad were superb in there. You can then have two wingers. When you're not dominating, it becomes a bit more defensive. But, you know, when your towels are up, why not? And having players like Kongi and Brad, who were both superb, that gives um, you the freedom to let your wingers and your full-backs push on? Exactly that. When they're bossing the midfield and we've got the ball, we can then obviously be on the attack. If we don't boss them areas, then obviously everyone's back behind the ball defending, so it becomes more of a negative formation. And uh, people look at that and say, no, Sam Brown today. But he was here, um, nothing untoward on that. No, Sam trained Thursday. He was fine. He, to be honest, being the sort of person he is, he rang me this morning and told me he weren't feeling 100%. So he came along to support the lads. We didn't need to use him if he's not well. Um, and that's the situation. But I'd expect that from Sam. And then Jack fitted in well at left back. Jack can play left back. He doesn't particularly like it. First place centre back. But, you know, we've got cover in all positions at the moment, which is exactly how I want it. And we saw some cracking goals today, the two in the second half especially. But I thought um, one of the best ones was Elliot's first time cross that uh, Tom guided perfectly into the net. Yeah, no, Elliot has been he's been excellent the last few games. His distribution or cross has not been as good as he likes. Today it was excellent and that summed it up really. Put a great ball in. Fantastic header from Tom, yeah. And you had Salby on the back foot from the word go, really. We did really, although they got a goal, didn't they, to one all? So you never know then at one all. I think they came here with a plan to have attack, which is good for them, um, you know, which made it quite an open game. Some teams come back here and just literally pack the defence and makes it hard to break down. They decide to go. We had them watch last week. We thought we'd play like that. So it was about us being clinical when we got our chances and put them to bed, really. Do you think sometimes that helps you when teams uh, sit back? Because we're going to create chances. And if they're not creating any there, and it's harder for them to um, get the advantage. I don't know. Teams come here and they play how they want. That's up to them. All I want to do is make sure we win our home matches. However teams play against us, we'll make sure we're ready to combat that. 
And uh, home again on Saturday, Oadby Town. Looking forward to that one? Yeah, we'll try on Tuesday, Thursday, and then look forward to next Saturday. Well, thanks, Andy. Thanks, Tom. See you soon. <laughs>